Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm gonna show you my prints of the two samples from the Maker Box. Uh, the Polyalchemy Elixir Night Sky and uh, Refill Recycled Pet filaments. So let's have a look after the intro. So the first filament I want to show you is, is the Elixir Night Sky from Polyalchemy. Uh, this filament uh, is one of my favorites filament. I have three uh, colors already from Polyalchemy and already have a roll of this and I decided to just make one print with this filament, uh, a small ball, a spiral vase like ball and uh, I've printed several things with this uh, polyalchemy filament and it always looks excellent and it's really easy to print with. I usually print it out with uh, 215 degrees or 220 degrees. Uh, it looks a little bit more shiny if I, I print it at higher temperature and, and also uh, layer adhesion is, is better at higher temperatures and uh, instead of printing all the test prints uh, to figure out the settings like I normally do on the maker box samples I already had a good profile setup for, for this filament and uh, just wanted to make one thing out of it that I couldn't use on the table so I printed out this ball and it's uh, excellent uh, quality of, of material uh, this is uh, the night sky I also have the the Emerald City and, and uh, a red filament, I can't remember the name, but uh, this was uh, a successful print and actually I had planned to print it out a little bit higher and run out of filament at this point, so the top layer is not finished, but uh, it doesn't bother me, <laughs> as is the, it's pretty much what I intended to print, maybe I had a half a centimeter left when it ran out of filament. And, and this came out excellent and the shine of this filament and the color is, is, is crazy good looking and the second filament I tested out uh, was the recycled pet filament from Refill and uh, this filament uh, worked quite good for me I, I printed this out at 230 degrees uh, temperature uh, using my uh, patchy profile in a process laser and it worked quite well. I, I printed out a, a test uh, for stringing and I disabled C-Hop in this profile and I got uh, not uh, I got a pretty good uh, print result with without a stringing issue and this one I broke in pieces just to test out how it uh, breaks the pet filament like explodes when you break it so you have to be careful <laughs> when you when you break this filament it it bends to a point and then it shatters in all directions so you have to be careful with that but uh, the, this test print came out pretty good and uh, I decided to test out some mechanical parts uh, instead of printing out the rest of the normal uh, test prints and those are brackets uh, to mount a, a Raspberry camera on a Prusa MK3 and uh, this was uh, intended to be like this uh, and I broke this off uh, while I was testing the strength and I printed out uh, another one uh, and also broke this off it was like this uh, just to see the strength and uh, the model is, is very thin at this point so I just wanted to see how it would go but I then printed out this uh, arm for the for the Raspberry Cam uh, that I'm going to mount to the MK3 and this is just a functional tripod thingy that I'm going to mount the small light camera on and it uh, came out pretty good and one thing I was trying to pull out uh, one of the sockets and uh, the layer adhesion in the middle was not good so I popped the head of one of them but uh, that's not maybe the normal use case <laughs> but uh, for this uh, test I did also this is a part of it where it has the cable guide for the flat cable for the Raspberry Cam and this came out pretty good and I didn't have any special stringing issues with this filament even though it has a pet filament 
uh, that usually gives me stringing but uh, I think I've got pretty good settings dialed in uh, now with a disabled C-hop and, and the retractions a little bit faster and at two millimeters so this came out pretty good and uh, I have a small sample left it's uh, very clear uh, when it's not uh, printed as you can see you can see my finger through it but when it's printed it's uh, very uh, shiny green color and I absolutely love this color it's very good <laughs> it's like lime green uh, color and maybe the camera doesn't show it very good but it's uh, a little bit darker maybe than you can see on the camera so both of those filament uh, came out pretty good for me the polyalchemy night sky elixir uh, was very easy to print and i've used this filament before and uh, have a roll of this color and several others and so i have a good settings and uh, it gave me very good result and the recycled pet filament from refill also very easy uh, to work with it uh, used my uh, petty settings in the slicer profile and was very small amount of stringing and good and give me good results so uh, i didn't have any special issues with those filament it just worked quite well for me so i think uh, for those filament this will be it and i thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one